H. pylori infection, symptoms causes diagnosis and treatment. Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, is a type of bacteria that infects your stomach. It can cause sores and inflammation in the lining of your stomach or the upper part of your small intestine, the duodenum. For some people an infection can lead to stomach cancer. H. pylori is a type of bacteria that infects your stomach and can cause issues like ulcers. Photo credit, think stock images. Infection with H. pylori is common. About two-thirds of the world AS population has it in their bodies. For most people it never causes any symptoms. But it's the most common cause of peptic ulcers which are painful open sores in your digestive tract. In rare cases it could even lead to stomach cancer. H. pylori bacteria usually spread from person to person and also likely through. Once H. pylori enters your body it multiplies in the lining of your stomach. This weakens the lining making it more likely that your stomach acids will cause an ulcer. Is H. pylori contagious? Yes. You can get H. pylori if you have contact with the saliva or other body fluids of someone who is already infected. Most people get H. pylori during childhood but adults can get it too. Infections are often related to your living conditions. Risk factors include. Just having the bacteria doesn't cause symptoms. But you'll probably notice them if you get stomach inflammation, gastritis, or a peptic ulcer due to H. pylori. The most common issue is a dull or burning pain in your belly. The feeling may come and go and may worsen when your stomach is empty. You may feel better after you eat drink milk or take an antacid. Other symptoms include. What does H. pylori poop look like? Most people infected with H. pylori will have normal looking poop. But if yours looks dark black tarry or has any blood in it call your doctor right away. Sometimes peptic ulcers bleed into your stomach or intestines. This can be dangerous. Call your doctor right away if you have any of these symptoms. An H. pylori infection is also a risk factor for stomach cancer which has few symptoms at first. Call your doctor if you have any of these signs. Depending on your symptoms your doctor will likely ask you about your medical history and any medicines you take. Then the ALL give you a physical exam which may include checking your belly for swelling tenderness or pain. H. pylori tests. There are several tests your doctor can use to find out if you are infected with H. pylori including Stool tests Urea breath test During this test you exhale into a bag so your doctor can measure how much carbon dioxide is in your breath. Then you swallow a liquid or pudding that contains a substance called urea. Several minutes later you'll exhale into a different bag to measure your carbon dioxide again. The two bags are sent to a lab for comparison. If you have H. pylori in your gut it will break down the urea in the liquid you swallowed and carbon dioxide will be released in your breath. If there's more carbon dioxide in the second sample than the first your test is positive for H. pylori. To look more closely at your ulcers your doctor may use. Ulcers caused by H. pylori are usually treated with a combination of antibiotics and a proton pump inhibitor, PPI. Triple therapy for H. pylori. There are two common types of these three medication treatments. If any of your medications bother you talk to your doctor about your treatment options and how you can handle side effects. Most ulcers caused by H. pylori will heal after a few weeks. Don't take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like aspirin, ibuprofen and naproxen for pain since they can damage your stomach lining. If you need pain medicine talk to your doctor. Your doctor may retest you for H. pylori about 4 weeks after you finish your treatment. If you still show signs of an infection you might need to take another round of different antibiotics. H. pylori commonly causes inflammation to the lining of your stomach, gastritis. You don't always have symptoms from gastritis but the irritation and swelling it causes can lead to discomfort nausea and vomiting. Peptic ulcers are the most common complication of H. pylori. About 10% of those infected with the bacteria will get one. A serious one could. Eta is not common but an untreated long-term H. pylori infection is a risk factor for some types of stomach cancer. The disease has few symptoms at first such as heartburn. Over time you may notice. Call your doctor if you show any of these signs. If you have a history of stomach cancer in your family your doctor may recommend testing for H. pylori. You can protect yourself from getting an H. pylori infection the same ways you keep other germs at bay. 
H. pylori diet. While the main risk factors for H. pylori infection are poor sanitation and hygiene practices research shows that what you eat also may play a role. One study found that people whose diets were high in fresh fruits and vegetables whole grains nuts and seeds had lower risks of H. pylori infection. But those whose diets were full of carbohydrates processed grains and meats sugars and salt were more likely to have H. pylori infections. This could be because some compounds like vitamin C polyphenols and flavonoids in the first group's diet help protect the stomach lining and prevent the bacteria from establishing. But we need more research to know for sure. H. pylori is a common type of bacteria that attacks the stomach lining. It's usually passed from person to person. Most infections are harmless. But the bacteria is to blame for most peptic stomach ulcers and if it's not treated it could be a risk factor for stomach cancer. The most effective treatments include a combination of antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors. Most people infected with H. pylori don't have any problems. But the bacteria can do serious damage to your stomach lining and is the leading cause of peptic ulcers. In rare cases it can lead to stomach cancer. You can treat the symptoms of an H. pylori infection with antibiotics proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, and H2 blockers. Treatment takes about two weeks. Once the bacteria are gone there's little chance the infection will return if you follow good hygiene practices. Sources National Digestive Diseases Information Clearing House, Apeptic Ulcer Disease and H. pylori A. National Cancer Institute, A. Helicobacter pylori and Cancer A. Kids Health, A. Infections, Helicobacter pylori A. National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, A. The Burden of Digestive Diseases, Peptic Ulcer Disease A. American College of Gastroenterology, A. Peptic Ulcer Disease A. Up to date. A Helicobacter pylori infection and treatment A. American Cancer Society, A. How is stomach cancer diagnosed, A. A. How is stomach cancer treated, A. A. Signs and symptoms of stomach cancer A. Johns Hopkins Medicine, What is H. pylori, Helicobacter pylori. Upper Gastrointestinal Series. Therapeutic Advances in Gastroenterology, Dietary Habits and Helicobacter pylori Infection, Is There an Association? CDC, Helicobacter pylori. Mayo Clinic, Omeprazole amoxicillin and rifabutene, Oral Root, Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, Infection, Peptic Ulcers. Cleveland Clinic, H. Pylori Infection H. Pylori, Helicobacter pylori, Breath test slash urea breath test. Radiographics, current role of CT in imaging of the stomach. University of California San Francisco, Helicobacter pylori infection. Does not provide medical advice diagnosis or treatment. See additional information.